Hey guys, Eric Heyman here at the Joy Homesteading. Here's an update to my Johnson Sioux compost pile. So I piled in just old spoiled hay mixed with sheep manure and cow manure back in the spring. So we're probably like six months in. So it's only like halfway done. You really want to let this stuff sit for a year. But uh, man, we're in a drought, a bad drought. Everything is dry. There's no moisture anywhere. And this compost pile is awesome. So you guys watched me stack it. And man, I stacked it way up here, like almost to the top. And this thing is lost like two thirds of its capacity that it's shrunk. There's all kinds of weird funguses and stuff trying to grow out of it. But uh, if you look down in here, man, it is moist in here. I don't water this as often as I should, like maybe once every couple weeks, I'll come over here with a hose and I'll put a little water on it. But it's just moist, wonderful looking compost soil. There's all kinds of bugs that live in here. There's a family of lizards that lives in here. It's really interesting how well that's worked because I'll tell you, I am the laziest person in the world. So. If I have to turn a compost pile every two or three days to make compost, I'm not gonna do it. It's not gonna happen. This method, you pile it up and you let it sit for a year. I'm thinking that's the method for me. And we used inputs from off the farm. So we sourced hay that had no herbicides or you know, synthetic fertilizers or anything like that put on it. And then we're using our sheep manure. So basically the sheep run around the whole property and they collect all these forbs and grasses which all contain minerals and then they poop it in the hay and then we compost it so then when we put that back into our gardens we're getting fertility that never existed on our farm before because we've imported hay and we're also getting the fertility from all the minerals in the plants that the sheep have went out and sourced for us from the whole farm and then we will use that in our garden beds to supplement the nutritional requirements for the plants. I got another bunch of hay, spoiled hay in the pen. I'm just looking over there because it's over there. It's over there that I'm going to make another pile here in the next couple weeks, probably like right next to this one, just right in here. So then, you know, you got to let it sit for a year, but once you get it going, you'll always have compost ready to use. So this one will be in the spring and then in the fall, I'll have another one ready to go. And as long as I make another one in the spring, like every six months, I'm going to have compost that's ready to be utilized to spread fertility around the farm. And I'm going to be making things like extracts and teas and uh, spraying them on the pastures as well to just try and bump up the soil fertility. If you got any questions, let me know. This is kind of a new process to me, but I'll research and I'll figure out what it is and we will uh, hash it out together. Thanks.